This is all a part of my human impact on um, series that I've decided to do. Um, I hope that you guys do enjoy this and um, I'm just doing this video because I just want to draw attention to the subject. I do think that it's very important for people to uh, know and understand and hopefully it gives you a bit of insight as to what little tiny things us humans do that affects the quality of the water on the planet. Um, as you all know, water is an extremely important resource, if not the most important resource for life on Earth. And without it, we would be um, nothing. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll just get started. So there are two types of water on the planet. Uh, the first is fresh water and the second is salt water. So uh, obviously um, salt water is simply water that is uh, saline in nature. And salt water does account for 97% of the water on Earth. The rest of the fresh water on Earth uh, does only encompass about 3%. However, that 3% that is on Earth is not readily available. It is um, stuck in glaciers, on mountaintops, and other places um, that uh, are hard to harness the fresh water from. So there are two types of pollution um, sources. Um, we call them point and non-point sources in environmental science. Point sources come from one direct and identifiable source such as a sewage or a drain pipe and non-point services come from several indirect sources such as urban and agricultural runoff and small-scale human activity. Um, this just kind of identifies how it is that things are flowing into our water sources and uh, where they're coming from and how they are affecting them. So because of the decrease in water quality, there has been a decline of freshwater ecosystems on planet Earth. They do account for less than 1% of Earth's uh, surface. And um, the just basically understanding how important freshwater is um, to these species, um, as well as us as humans for drinking, for agricultural purposes, bathing, um, showering, washing dishes, flushing the toilet, all of these things are fresh water. So desertification occurs when productive land turns into desert. So otherwise a place that could have been a very lush and green grazing ground for livestock or just somewhere where people used to, uh, you know, um, see a nice savanna grassland has completely disappeared. But you see, many of the effects of desertification are because of human intervention. Um, it is caused by uh, de uh, deforestation of trees and um, other uh, plants and shrubs that are in an area, as well as climate change and global warming. Um, it, it could also be a product of acid rain. I wouldn't rule that out, but I don't know the details of how acid rain uh, does cause desertification. But I mean, if you have very acidic water falling um, onto a plot of land that needs um, somewhat neutral or uh, slightly basic water, I can see how that would just kill everything out. Um, also, something else is overgrazing by livestock, so cows. Um, cows have a negative effect. Cows are the reason for desertification. Well, this is what people claim, but there's more evidence that's coming out that's saying that that might not necessarily be the truth. Also, something else that desertification causes is sandstorms. This is probably really detrimental to mainly humans that live in desert areas and uh, have, you know, there's very adverse effects that come along with sandstorms. Um, desertification also can cause changes in microclimate and uh, water displacement is another obvious one. Okay, so I spoke previously about acid rain. So acid rain um, is created, I'm sorry I don't have a beautiful diagram here to show you, but I'll just explain to you in simple words. When we as humans pump out fossil fuels and vehicle exhaust and pollution and all this crap goes up into the atmosphere and um, via atmospheric um, chemical reaction it synthesizes into nitric and sulfuric acid and of course um, when things go up into the atmosphere what goes up must can down, come down via condensation um, so when clouds are ready to let go of their water and it rains 
um, this nitric and sulfuric acid is mixed in with the rain and it comes down and as it comes down it affects the quality of water in terms of lakes and rivers and possibly streams and maybe even oceans uh, as there is the acidification of the ocean occurring um, via different reasons but um, what ends up happening is the pH of lakes and rivers become acidic so that many aquatic species end up you know dying because of the fact that there is so much acid in the water they can't handle it they can't adapt uh quickly enough to it and um this causes you know bad effects and what happens here in Canada, we recently got charged, I don't know if this is all over Canada, but in the province of Ontario, we recently get charged five cents for plastic bags. And I personally think that that's a great idea because plastic is torture for the planet. Um, plastic polycarbonates, they're very, very tough. They do not biodegrade um, and they just sit there and they take so long to decompose and when they do they're emitting all of these toxins all of these currents like the Oyashio current the Alaska current California current uh, Kurushio current Kurushio sorry not great at Japanese these currents start to collect the plastic into this area and this area is known as the North Pacific gyre um, so plastic starts to collect here and here the scientists that have went out into these areas are just astounded by the amount of garbage and 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 plastic that's just accumulating here. And plastic does float. So, you know, it comes up to like, you know, the top of the surface of and, and some of it stays within the water. And this is terrible. It's terrible for the quality of the water. It's terrible for the fish. They hate it. They die. They ingest it. It's it's like you inhaling a plastic bag. It's not very nice. And this is such an isolated area. It's not highly trafficked by people. Um, it's north of Hawaii. So this whole area is completely void. Ba really, really void of land. I'm sure there are really small northern Pacific islands that I have no idea or I could even be wrong about that. But nobody sees this. And that's the problem. Nobody's aware of it. And here I am trying to tell you that your plastic is messing up what's happening. The plastic in the oceans is terrible. If you can avoid using plastic at all costs, it would be amazing. So remember what I said, okay? <laughs> um, I hate to sound like a tree hugger or a hippie but if you don't gotta take the car to work don't take the car to work if you can reuse your plastic bags reuse them if you can reuse your water bottles reuse them if you don't have to flush the toilet don't flush it take a shorter shower just help us help the earth because you don't realize it now but I'm telling you in the future it's going to pose problems